Tonight we have Northern Lights. This week we sail under the Northern Lights and run into a couple interesting problems. The harbor is uh, freezing a little bit. Okay, the entrance here into our spot is actually quite tricky. Ready to go! Quite arctic weather here. It's uh, super grey and a uh, little bit windy and light snowfall. This is kind of what the reality of sailing here in the winter is like. Um, we are motor sailing uh, dead downwind with uh, the Atlantic swell still uh, pretty big from the north, so a fair bit of rolling. Not that comfortable, but uh, that's how it is. Just need to squeeze through between the low pressures. This is our lunch today. Mama. It was outside. Yum, yum. But it seems a little bit frozen. I, I thought it's soup. <laughs> uh, of course it's frozen because that's what soups are. We are keeping the big pots outside now um, because uh, they don't fit in the fridge so well and it's easier to just put them outside. It's so cold cold enough there anyway that it actually keeps better outside than uh, in the fridge but I guess now it's getting so cold that uh, the stuff starts freezing so The windows are cleaned for the harbor entrance so I can actually see something and not just snow. And I put the Christmas lights on inside. And uh, this harbor is pretty easy. The approach is really easy and uh, the inner harbor we are going in there right now and it's pretty big and there is a really good web camera. So you can see all the birds that are free and I actually called the harbor master to ask um, where we should put the boat. So now we just go on the south wall. Safely docked here in Husavik between an ex-fishing boat behind us. It's probably now used for um, whale watching in the summer but uh, that's not happening right now. And then uh, in front of us there is an actual fishing boat. And uh, let's do a quick dock walk. Oh well, I'll show you one more thing. We are kind of unprotected if there is a storm from north or northwest coming in and I think that's actually the usual wind direction here. So. If there's something big coming in, then we probably have to move the boat or 
or well or we'll just have to take it but um, this is where the harbor master told us to go and uh, let's go a little bit further on the dock because this is actually pretty cool well we got electricity here from that box and there's uh, also water on the docks um, which is uh, really nice because that can be hard to find in the winter and then here's uh, two more or three more of these uh, old fishing boats that are now used as whale watching boats and that's actually pretty cool that they restore these and keep them in good shape and use them for whale watching you know otherwise they'd probably get scrapped at some point and these are uh, beautiful uh, boats or what do you think Sami? nice boats yeah they are very pretty pretty boats This spot here on the dock is actually better because it's further in and it's more protected but uh, this is also unfortunately where you see these cranes and this is where they offload the fish from the small fishing boats there is a fish factory right next to us so even though there's not so much going on right now with fishing you are still gonna get some angry fishermen if you block these cranes so it's better to stay away Tonight we have northern lights, aurora borealis are lighting up the sky and I'm just gonna walk down the beach and that way and set up my camera over there to get some uh, shots to show to you guys and uh, these are the first northern lights that we see here in Iceland um, we've seen plenty in Norway but none so far over here mainly because it's been pretty cloudy most of the time and this is the last night here. Tomorrow we will probably head off to Siklofjordur, which is around 40 50 miles away. If you saw something, then it means that I captured the northern lights on camera and it didn't um, last for very long, of course, you know, they might still light up um, today during the night because the activity um, today night should be like moderately high it depends on the space weather but um, didn't last very long, like the really good show only lasted for maybe five minutes and uh, the way I edit my uh, photos is that I make a time lapse and then I put it into the editing program and put it all together but I try to keep it natural so that what you see is actually also what you would see if you were here because um, most of the Northern Lights photos that you see on the internet are actually really fake because if you have a good camera and if you have some Photoshop skills and you know how to overexpose shots then you can just uh, um, 
take uh, like uh, photos of like very weak northern lights that you can even barely uh, barely see them with your eyes you can like really blow them up in uh, Photoshop or other editing program but I try to stay away from that anyway I'm back at the boat now and uh, I'm gonna go to bed because tomorrow we will go sailing it's supposed to be a really beautiful day and we are gonna go um, west and we are finally gonna get into the fjords with actual big mountains Good morning! It's going to be an incredibly beautiful day and as you can see it's pretty um, cold outside. It was a cold and clear night and the harbor is uh, freezing a little bit. It's mostly the fresh water that floats on top that's freezing because it's been so um, so wind still, so the water hasn't mixed up. I don't think the seawater is that cold yet. It's the fresh water, there's a few fresh, fresh water streams coming into the harbor and then the fresh water I think floats on the top if it's like completely wind still and then it starts freezing. Let's go! Let's go! doing around 45 miles to Siklufjardur and um, we wanted to stop and anchor somewhere in between but um, I don't think it's really going to work out this time because of our um, engine problems and so on or the stern tube stern tubes that we are still trying to solve so it's a little bit um, it's a little bit of a shame but it's just a little bit too sketchy to stay somewhere uninhabited at the moment. So we are going to be going uh, across the Skjalfandi Bay and then uh, following the coast to Siglfjordur. And this whole area is a very um, popular area for whales. So in the summer there's a lot of whale watching here. But in the winter, basically the humpback whales um, say screw you and they uh, swim to the Caribbean to reproduce. <laughs> so they don't really stay here. So the chances of seeing a whale right now is um, somewhat slim, but there's still like some orcas and um, other whales here, even blue blue whales and fin whales and so on so we are keeping a look out and the weather is uh, really nice it's that time of the year when the sun rises just above the horizon only to then go down again so it's like an endless sunrise and sunset and then uh, darkness and uh, it's a good time for people like me who usually don't really wake up that early to also see the sunrise so I'm enjoying it now while I can I'm 
sure they will appear just for us. Hopefully. Okay, the entrance here into our spot is actually quite tricky <laughs> but there is no wind so it should be fine but we need to go like in here and behind all these small boats there's a pier and ah, you will see We might not have seen any whales, but we did see some northern lights while sailing. And the next night I was also able to capture them with my camera. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to crowdfund these videos, then please check out my Patreon page. See you all next time. Bye bye.